Hey, and welcome to a Chicago Beer Pass beer review. And our good friend, Brian Brew, has joined us. Man, what, first time in 12-ounce format, right? This was a bomber, right? He used to be a, he used to be a big boy. Uh, Brian Brew, Irish-style red ale. So Nick was saying on the episode, he's like, he likes an Irish ale. Not an Irish red, not a red ale. This yeah. is a red ale that's been Irished, which I said Brian Baru's more red ale with Irish in the name. I used to work with a guy named Angry Johnny. He was he's Irish, and he was like uh, John McHugh, John James McHugh, <laughs> and he would say uh, about Brian Baru, "It's my, it's my, let's go get some of my grandpappy's blood." He was he was a maniac. Yeah, that reminded me of that. Um, six and a half percent. Uh, he was born in Munster, Ireland. Brian Baru. Which, oh, really? which is okay. uh, which is fitting. I didn't realize that. That's funny. Yeah. So, um, for a crew that loves to hop the fuck out of everything, or, or you know, or hit you with weird barrel aged stouts, they they take the time and slow it down and make an Irish red, Irish style red. Have you smelled this beer? This beer is hot, <laughs> hot to high heaven with Amarillo. Like that is mm. all Amarillo. Yeah, that's big and fruity right there, but. The hop, man, I feel like that's the hop that made me fall in love with IPAs. Yeah. Because um, if you can get that that classic fruity hop aroma, right, with some bitterness all in the same hop. Yeah. Come on. What's better than that? This beer, though, kicks your ass. Like yeah. Six and eight, 6.8%. Or 6.5, right? Not 8. 6.5. It's fruity and juicy in the like hot profile, and then it just, it's fucking tasty. I don't know. It's been a while since I had one of these. Um, I think Brian Baru and Behemoth might be my favorite seasonals from these guys. Yeah. I like, I don't know, Maloco. Oh, the Milk Stout. Yeah. yeah. It's been yeah. a while since I've had a Maloco. Yeah. Alpha Claws. Alpha Claws is kind of the precursor to the Black IPA. Mm-hmm. Um, Apocalypse Cow. Oh, shit. How can we not talk about Apocalypse Cow? That was really like the first, like, milk. It's, it's got lactose in it. Right. It, 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 was, it. It was basically a milkshake IPA. It was a double milkshake IPA. So good. You know, <sighs> Three Floyds, man. I mean, <laughs> what what can you say that hasn't been said, but... That's that's the first crew I fell hard for. Yeah, you know, uh, like I think I've I've told the story of going to Dark Lord Day for the first time, where we had no idea what Dark Lord Day was. We knew that there was a beer fest at Three Floyds that day, and we just decided to go. Yeah, but like that day, there was no planning. We're just like, oh, you know, there's this thing at Three Floyds. Do you want to go? Okay, and we just went. Never. We didn't show up with beer. We didn't know what it was. We're like standing in line, and we didn't know what to do. We're just like, what? It's cold. And then finally, we're like, I guess one of us like walked up, and they came, came back with like this motor oil thing. And we're like, what? What is this thing? It's too thick. It's not like not knowing what it was. It was just a weird experience. And then. You know, you peep, then it starts to like warm up and people are passing drinks and, and you're just drinking more and you're having a good time. But we never got any Dark Lord that day. No. And it, but it was just like the weirdest experience of not knowing what Dark Lord Day was, going to it, and then just experiencing it without even getting any of the beer to go. <laughs> yeah. You know, before, um, before they took over the whole block that they're on, basically. With with Dark Lord Day stuff, um, if you went on Dark Lord Day, you had to go in the pub, mm-hmm. and the pub's like an hour long, and that's the only way you could try it. Yeah, yeah, and then they moved all that out, which made way more sense. Um, they do a lot of different styles well, you know. I was always a fan of Pride and Joy, or even you know, as much as we give shit for Robert the Bruce, because every time you go to fest and they say Floyd's is there, all they're bringing is Robert the Bruce or Gumball mm-hmm. Head, but you know. Zombie dust, single. It was a smash beer, right? Yeah. Single hop, single malt. Everybody went nuts over it. You know, a lot of different styles very well. 
coming from that crew. Um, Haymarket is like that. I like a lot of the different styles they make. Um, Half Acre in the recent years, I think I'm, I just like more of the different stuff they do. Yeah. Um, but it's a short list of people that'll just, you know, because like m- most people do what they do all year and don't stray from it. Right? Yeah. They're, that minute of three Floyds hit everybody where you had to drive up there and get cases because you wanted the stuff. Like, there's not a lot of other breweries that I've done that for or had, like, people do it for uh, Wisconsin Brewery. Oh, uh, New Glarus? New Glarus still to this day because they love it. Like, that's the only thing I can, like, think of that's even close to it anymore. Like That's true. And it was an era when, um, you know, it was actually cheaper to go to the pub and get some of the stuff than it would be at uh, the store or at your local bar. Right. So yeah. it was worth taking the trip out there and throwing down whatever the price was for a uh, case yeah versus like going to the store and buying now that's kind of frowned upon i think they looked at as undercutting since there's so many breweries so now those days are gone really you know Mm -hmm. it's the same cost whether you have it at the bar uh, you have it at the brew pub or have it at a fancy bar it's gonna be the same price right yeah which i kind of i like it the old way personally but (laughs) i feel like i bet the breweries liked it the old way too uh but maybe places stop carrying their stuff like why are we gonna carry your stuff if you're gonna just sell it cheaper it's true so. yeah um yeah brian baru man reminds you that spring is in the air you know it's really the first time in a long time we've we had a red ale no. and um yeah and you get to talk about a crew that's been around since like what 96 that's true yeah. Yeah. and it's only out yeah in this like late february march time frame getting brian baru is like I don't know. I feel like not having Brian Brew for so long and then the pandemic happening and having it again makes me feel like things are going to be okay. Yeah, it's nice. And then, um, <laughs> you know, I know Maybach is a is a, a, a popular style as oh, spring yeah. comes into vogue. Um, but we don't have any good local examples of a Maybach. Does comp- Dante do a Maybach? I don't know. I can't tell you I've had it. But, I mean, as far as spring styles go, this is right there with... S- Really, one of the you know you think I think about Guinness, <laughs> and then I think about Brian Baru, and right. I'm trying to think of other beers I think about that just are a reminder that spring is coming, you know. But those two are right at the forefront now that I'm having it. It's like, hey, like you said, there's better days, better days ahead, man. Yeah, I feel, I feel all right. I think it could be the six and a half percent talking, but <laughs> I'm feeling like things are gonna be all right. I guess Oberon. Oh, Oberon. And, and 312, yeah. 32 Shanty. Yeah. So, there's some more. Um, but those feel like summer beers. Like, those are like beers that come out in the summer or in the spring that are meant to be drank in the summer. Like, My Box, Irish Reds, they come out. Shorter in season. The, the spring, early spring, and they're meant to be drank now. Where That's true. I would rather, if 312 comes out, I'd rather have it in. June than in then March. March then March 12th that's fair yeah just gotta lean into the day there I'm trying to think of another yeah something beer. like after the holidays a beer release that you know you're just kind of like fucking A like that Valentine's Day to St. Patty's space where you know something's coming out and it just reminds you of the past and reminds you that you know yeah shit's gonna get fun pretty soon here <laughs> right I'm gonna have to think. I'm gonna have to take that one home. Think about that. Think one. about it. Yeah. yeah. Let it let it simmer. But yeah, uh, pick up Brian Brew while you can. I picked up uh, a bunch of six packs just because I was like, "Fuck yeah, I gotta." I can't remember the last it time works. I had this. I like this. Um, although I haven't really bought uh, Three Floyd's beer in a long time. Just there's so much other Chicago beer to get. Something about this, I had to do it. Yeah, that was a good call. This is a nice beer. So yeah. Get that, get that brand brew. Or go to Beta Brow. Or not Beta Brow, uh, Bavarian Lodge and get it on tap. Be Lodge. All right. Take care. Cheers.